All right, Shalom. First off, and for most, as always, I want to say, Call Halayim La Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Moonstone that do rule and teach well. And a sincere Shalom to you, Ankim out there that's pushing this truth through spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so right here is an article that I found through spirit on naturalnews.com. And um, it states, uh, it says, the end of the world as we know it has already happened. What is left are shortages, outages, anarchy, and chaos. Just look around at what is happening right now. Okay. And, and guess what, man? This article is true. It's correct. Okay, because the end of the world is, 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 is uh, we're living the last days of the last days. Okay. We're living the last days of the, of uh, Esau of uh, Esau's Edom uh, uh, rulership, okay. And it says, um, uh, we and others write about worst case scenarios about how the time is coming where the world as we once knew it is gone. But a look around the nation right now, compared to a few years ago, makes it crystal clear that the days that the days warned about for so long are already here right and it, and it says right here it says that the days weren't about for so long okay are already here and and uh and who warned you about these days that are uh already here or, or you know about to come to pass the elect all right the the, the prophets of yahweh shai okay these men start starting off with the elder apostles and on down okay these men have been uh, uh you know a warning about the uh the um the miseries that's gonna soon you know uh um how can i explain it how can i word it uh, the, the the miseries that that's gonna soon befall you know the, uh this uh this uh society and you people okay because soon you're gonna have a, you're gonna have great judgment you know and great distress upon you people that you know have have been a, a very in a lexical day school spirit that have been you know just fanning in the hands of the prophets Okay, because soon you're gonna realize the prophets of Yahweh of Yahweh Shmuel Shai, all right, were among you. Okay, and let's get that. It's Ezekiel 33 and verse 33, and it says, "And when this come to pass, lo, it will come." Meaning what? The prophecies. Okay, the prophecies of what? World War Three. Okay, uh, uh, more civil unrest and, and uh, um, uproars of the people. Okay, the uh, mandatory chipping of the MOTB. Mark of the Beast, okay, the the uh, return of Yahweh Shai, the nuclear the nuclear destruction that's going to befall Babylon. Those are things that are going to come to pass, okay. Those are things that we've been uh, uh, warning you about through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shmuel Shai. And it says, then shall they know that a prophet had been among them, right? Who and, and uh, who's who's the day, okay? The day. Is is referring to the people that scoffs at us, people that walk past and drive, back, you know, drive uh, past us, the ones who don't take heed to his word, the, you know, the ones who don't believe in Yahweh Shmuel Shai and his word, okay, th uh, th uh, through the the men that he set up, those are the ones who are gonna know that a prophet have been among them because soon it's gonna be a famine of hearing the words of Yahweh Shmuel Shai, okay. And when once that famine happens, hey, it's gonna to be too damn late because the the Lord has has put His men out there, uh, uh, uh for since forever, okay. Having mercy upon you, wicked ass Israelites, all right. But yet you, you don't want to take heed. But but when the famine of the word comes, people are gonna be looking for answers, okay. And what's that saying back in the world? People don't know, you know, uh, uh what they had till it's gone, and and, and, and that's gonna happen soon. People going, you know, uh, regret not taking heed to the prophets of Yahweh by Shema Shai until the fame of the word, you know, uh, happens. Okay. So it says right here, it says that, that the days weren't about for so long are already here. And that's true. And it says recent headlines and the worsening and the worsening of class, uh, class, race and political warfare, along with uh, deter deterioration of supplies from gas to food. To lumber, to appliances, and more proves the point that normal, quote unquote, doesn't exist anymore. Okay, <clears throat> and we will never again 
It's like it. And we will never have what was normal just years ago. Back uh, back again, right? And that's true because first and foremost, this land is being stripped for, uh, of its mirth. It's, it's being uh, broken down economically, all right? Spiritually, okay? And soon to be physically, okay? You have about Shemar Shai is, uh, is tearing this place apart uh, piece by piece, okay? Slowly but surely. Just just like how you, uh, you, you cook a... A piece of meat in the crock pot, like a, a piece of a corned beef put in the crock pot, and that and that that piece of corned beef, you know, uh, 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 it, you know, it uh, takes a long time to cook. Okay, but guess what? You know, uh, once it's cooked, it's pulled apart. All right, it's you know, it's 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 all in pieces. Okay, and that's how it is with America, man. This place is being slowly, you know, uh, slowly uh, 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 broken down. I should say. Okay. Like it says in the book of Isaiah 24, it says, it says, how is the the uh the land of confusion broken down? Hey, guess what? It's being broken down right now. Okay. And it says, um, uh, go down. It says, Arnaki and chaos. Okay, it says, as certain Americans literally hunt every day for something to complain and whine about, Karen's and Kevin's, with many groups such as Antifa and BLM activity. Looking for reasons to riot throughout the country, burning and looting businesses, vandalizing property. We see dire warnings that the majority of the liberal establishment media ignores to the point of keeping their audience ignorant of actual events. OK, and, and, and that's true. OK, anarchy and chaos is happening right now as we speak. OK, you have stuff going on right now, not only in America, but also over there in Colombia. I believe the, you have the Colombians protesting about the taxes over there. Okay, straight chaos is going on right now. You have, you know, a uh, uh, civil unrest, you know, and, and basically a battle over there between Israel and Palestine. Okay, so things are happening. All right, and, and real quick, let's go into the word anarchy and see what it says. And it says a state of disorder. Due to absence or non-recognition non of authority, okay? Absence of a government and absolute freedom of the individual regarded as a political ideal, okay? And that's happening right now, man. Okay, these people are not, you know, uh, caring, you know, about what's going on. Like like in Tifa, for example, they, they don't give a fuck, man. All right, people are not, you know, uh, uh, how, can I, how can I say it the best way I can? People are not... You know, uh, 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 regard. Well, actually, let me get it real quick. Cause the scriptures speak about that. This is Second uh, Edges fifteen and verse uh, sixteen. It says, "For there shall be sedition among men, and evading one another." All right. Now the word sedition. Okay. It says, "A conduct or speech is." What the hell? It says a conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. All right. And what's that? That's anarchy. All right. It's anarchy and chaos. OK. And these things are happening as we know it. OK. The end of the world, as we know, it, has already happened. It's here. OK. Now back to sedition. It says conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. OK, just like how it says right here, you know, with with groups like Antifa or, or and, uh, BLM. All right. Back in second, just 15 and verse uh, uh, 16, it says for this to be sedition among men. OK, now that now that we got a better meaning of the word sedition, it says and invading one another, they shall not regard the kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. OK, and the, the kings and princes, you know, be like your mayors. Politicians, okay, your uh, your uh, your uh, governors, you know things things of that nature, okay. These people are uh, are waking up and, and you know they're uh, more hip to the fact that their system is corrupt, okay. They're not you know waiting on you know anybody on the TV to to give them a message, you know, because soon you know it, you know this uh this uh, civil unrest is gonna heighten, it's gonna increase, okay. And people are gonna just take matters into their own hands, okay. It's going to be a full-blown purge out here, man. All right? It's going to get worse, man. And it says, um, take uh, take Portland, Oregon, for example, and the competing, it's like in the competing headlines, 
enough to give us a one virtual whiplash. All right. Keep going. It says, uh, as we have documented extensively, Antifa is completely out of control in Portland, Oregon, terrorizing neighborhoods, blocking traffic, harassing and attacking innocent drivers just trying to get uh, from one place to the next. So, right, man, just like I was says, you know, it says right here, and the course of their actions stop standing, their power. All right, so they're taking matter into their own hands. All right, blocking traffic. And who does that? Cops, you know, you know, attacking innocent drivers or whatnot. And it says, um, but we also see for the, for the message by the Portland Police Union that gang activity is also taking over the streets, mainly due to the funding of police. Right, man, so things are increasing, man. All right, people people are getting roused up. Spirits are getting moved by how about small shy. So, so not only is uh you know B O L M and you know, Antifa you know uh uh, uh 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 you know like the protests and riots and, and looting things of that nature. Not not is that only increasing, but also the gang activity is also taking over the streets. Okay, so things are gonna be uh get uh, uh real heavy out here, man. And what's that? Uh, Jacob Trouble. Okay. This is Jeremiah 30 and verse um, uh, 7. And it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. And who is Jacob? Okay. Jacob are who is the Israelites. Okay. Israel. And today the Israelites are being called blacks, so-called so -called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Okay. Those make up the 12 tribes of Jacob, a.k.a. Israel. Okay. And it says, but he shall be saved out of it. And the he is, is talking about the elect of the, the, the nation of, of uh, Israel. Okay. But, you know, but uh, uh, as far as far, you know, as far as the uh, the rest of the, the uh, Jake's go, the two thirds Israelites. Okay. They're going to be judged, man. They're going to be caught up in the, in, in the judgments. All right. Uh, from Yahab Bashim al Shai, because why? Because they're wicked. All right. The, the, hey, man, two thirds, they got to be put down, man. You know, on this side. Okay. But, you know, in the kingdom, they're going to be good. But while they're uh, on this side, you know, they got to be put down like a sick dog, man, because they're not in the right mind. Okay. They're so far gone. It's not, it's not even funny, man. These people are wicked. Okay. Because they're under the vibration of Esau Edom. Okay. So, so, uh, so not only does Esau Edom got to go. All right, but Jake two thirds got to go on his side as well. Okay, Jacob, Jacob's trouble. All right, and real quick, let's get the word trouble. The word trouble means difficulty or problems. <laughs> you know, uh, public unrest or disorder or disorder cause distress or anxiety too. Okay, so difficulty or problems, man. And guess what? It's gonna be time of, of Jacob's uh, problems. <laughs> The time of the the time of uh the two thirds of the nation of Israel to be in under you know gr great distress, okay. Now uh, I read a little bit of the article before I press record, but um. Yeah, that was really the point, you know, but the point I wanted to touch on was how it says right here. It says the end of the world as we know it has already happened. It says what is left are shortages. All right. Outages, anarchy and chaos. And that's true, man, because people are, people are, you know, panic buying because there are shortages on gas, so-called. And that's, you know, all through Esau. He's, you know, he's being a deceiver you know, with the pipeline and whatnot. OK, but but the, uh, you know, the uh, the shortage in gas. You know, and and food and water and things of that nature. You know, that's going to cause people to you know to bug out, man. You know, to panic buy and to and to do some some desperate things because what's the the uh, the um the uh what's that saying in the world? It says when uh a drastic times cause cause for drastic measures. Okay, people are going to get drastic out here, man. All right, and I believe the word uh let me see real quick uh the word drastic. That was out this phone. Let 
The word drastic means likely to have a strong or far reaching effect, radical and extreme. Okay, so, okay, so people are going to be taking extreme measures, extreme measures in these last days because you know because of shortages, outages. Okay, and those extreme measures are going to lead to what? More anarchy and more chaos. Okay, and right here you see what? A picture of fire. Okay, and what do you have I say? And wanting it off that. This is Luke 12 and 49. And it says, uh, Luke 12 and 49, I am come to, to send a fire on the earth. All right. Look at that picture. And it says, and what will I if it be already kindled? Right, man. So, so right here, you know, these are more fanners that you have by Shema Shai sending upon the earth, you know. Those things, you know, the events going on between Israel and Palestine, those, those are more fanners, okay? The things going on with, right, you know, right now, with now that are out there in Colombia, right now, you know, uh, um, um, out here in the U.S., you know, things going on, you know, out here, you know, with the, the shortages of gas and, you know, uh, inflation and whatnot. These are fanners, man, okay? Because these fanners are going to uh, bring, bring a fire soon, man, okay? These fanners are soon going to create a fire. All right. Just like how you fan, you know, uh, the timber and whatnot. And, you know, the um, to get that fire, to get that fire started, you know, when you kept it and whatnot. All right. You know, you keep blowing that tinder, you know, long enough. You know, it's, it's going to get sparks to, uh, to come. You know, it's, it's going to turn red. And before you know it, boom, fire comes. OK, so you have by Shmuel Shai, you know, he, he's in control of, of, all, the, of uh, all these things, these events that's uh, taking place here on Earth, man. OK. But before you have shy returns, you know, things are going to get rough and rocky. OK, so, okay, so continue to, you know, uh, st st you know, uh, stay prayed up, remain faithful towards you. about Shmuel Shai and continue and continue to endure and, and have the spirit of perseverance. OK, so with that being said, I want to say call Lord, La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Kakwadash, Shalom.